This is Fours with No Bad Days Kayak, and tonight we're going to put together a propel drive. Whether you're on a native Titan X like this one or a bona fide like the P127 behind me, we're going to go over the assembly of it. We're going to go over the correct way to assemble it. We're going to go over no issues and then simple things like, you know, where to find serial number for when you're registering this thing. We're going to put it together today for the Titan X. Bonafide already has one, so let's get started. Now, I've gone ahead and cut open this box, but when you do open the box, what you're going to find is the drive. It's mostly assembled, and then you're going to have uh, this little bubble wrap of everything else you need in here. When you look at the drive, you're going to notice a couple things. Right here on the left-hand side, we got our serial number right here. So you've got the drive model, the 701, and the serial number is a five-digit number with a patent underneath it. You'll also notice that this disc is going to be covered in grease, totally normal. Uh, that's how they do it from the factory on purpose, and it's all good to go. So unwrapping that bubble wrap, we get uh, a really small parts list. We get this, one of the more important parts. This is a little bag with two Allen wrenches in it and two screws. These are the screws that hold the pedals on, and you'll notice they come with uh, a little bit of blue Loctite. Make sure yours has enough blue Loctite on there, five, six threads covered. If it only has one or two threads covered, might want to get some more blue Loctite. Oh, you guess. 5 16th inch Allen, uh, Allen wrench. This is the one that we're actually going to use to, to screw the pedals on. And it also comes with two cranks and pedals. <laughs> the cranks and pedals do have uh, a stamp on them letting you know which one is right and which one is left. That's as you're pedaling. So if you're in the kayak, this is the right, right crank pedal going to pedal that way. That is important. I'll show you why in a minute. So here in the box... <laughs> We just want to set up the crank pedals. This is the right side. If this propeller was propelling us that way, this would be our right foot on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just sug the right crank on there. Pretty easy peasy when squeezy. It's a square. It goes on nice and easy. Uh, and then we'll get out uh, one of our screws that we need. All these screws are righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It's important on the second one. And we'll do the left-hand crank rather. we we'll just get this put on. I'm not going to try to tighten it on here right now. I'm just going to get on snug. And when you do torque it, this is just like the crank pedals on a bicycle. You're, you basically have a, I don't want to call it a cam, you have a, a shaft that gets thicker as it goes out. So you're going to really crank it down on there and make sure it, it stays. This was on here, Decifel. Let's go ahead and flip it over and we'll get the right one on. Or get the left one on. The camera out of the way. So I've just flipped it over here in the box just to show you uh, you don't need a whole workbench to get this stuff done. I like trying to do these things as simple as possible to show everybody you don't need to be, uh, you know, some great fabricator to put these components together. It's really, really simple. So we're going to get on our, uh, our other bolt, going to get on our left, cr uh, left crank handle, and it's going to be 180 degrees opposite of that right one. And again, just going to snug her on, not doing anything fancy yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the kayak and I'm going to grab the bar that this sits in. And I'm going to go ahead and square it up and put this in. I'm doing it in this place for uh, ease of filming purposes, but all you have is these four Allen bolts. And it comes with an Allen wrench to get this on. As long as it's even, you're going to be good. But you can also make a final adjustment doing alignment when you're looking over the kayak. So I'm going to grab that now. So here I've, here I've got my bar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just drop. And here I've got the bar that goes on the kayak. We're just going to drop this guy in and start tightening up these 
uh, Allen bolts. It just needs to be even on both sides. So I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing them. If you want to grab a tape measure, measure it out. It's all well and good too. Uh, there is a little room for play, you know, when you drop this into the center of the kayak to actually get your kayak down the lake or river. Or if you want to drop your Allen wrench, it's all good. It's always fun working around these cameras, you know. I tend to drop my tools all the time. But that just goes to show that anybody can put these things together. Obviously, this is not snugged up yet. So I like where that's at. This bar's still loose, so I'm going to go ahead and start tightening these down a little bit. You don't need to go gangbusters on this. It's not like we're holding the world with this thing. Uh, it just needs to be nice and snug, and then line up with the hole in your kayak so you can drop this in and get on down the river. I feel like I keep hitting the camera too, but I'm a bad commentator, so it's all right. So from here, I like to take it off, and we can actually use this to do some of the final tensioning on this and I want to show you why 26 pounds of torque is the magic number. So this final step I'm going to do while the drive is in the kayak and if there is a gotcha or something to look out for on these drives this is it and the truth is it's not. Uh, as long as you do the assembly correct you're not going to have to worry about this issue. If you have this left crank and it's not torqued down to 26 foot pounds of torque it can back off. Now, you can also tell when it's backing off because it's starting to click. Very, very rarely does this happen. And I want to show you what it looks like with the default tool for me to get this thing torqued on the right way. I'm 6'3", 210 pounds, and it takes a lot. So don't be afraid to crank on this. I'm also going to do this in the kayak. These kayaks are really tough. If you want to know how tough, go look at the video where we tried to blow one up. Didn't go out so well. Kayak didn't really care. But here we go. So I've got this torque wrench set for the 26 foot pounds uh, that's recommended by Big Adventures Native Bonafide. And I'm going to go ahead and set this torque right here. And then we're going to see what it's like setting that tension uh, with the uh, Allen wrench that they gave us. So I just heard my click right there. So there's my click. Now if I go down to this wrench... Let's see what it looks like for me to move that just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I just got it. You, you really got a wrench on this left one here. That's the only issue. Otherwise, this is one of the most reliable, the most efficient drives on the market. Uh, once you get this thing in the water, you're going to love it. And that's the whole assembly. We're done here. Go enjoy your kayak. So we do get a lot of questions on what the little bitty out wrench for is and what all the little bitty bolts and nuts are for. What it is is four-wheel drive. It's the four-wheel drive gription mode. You got to put it in high-performance mode sometimes. I don't know a whole lot of kids in Texas that do this, but uh, what you'll end up doing is taking your nut, dropping her in here. I always put my finger behind it, drop the little bolt right there, run her down. I'm going to put some power tool noises here, and this one make you look like I'm a power tool guy. And there you go. You'd have all these cleats sticking up around. Give you four-wheel drive, better gription in the rain. It's like having those super swamper tires on. It was great. But that's it. Well.